In this video, we will go over how to view your camera system from your Android smartphone. First, download the Elite Viewer Pro app, or EVP for short. If you've not done so already, follow the guides for P2P or port forwarding to get your recorder ready for remote viewing. For the first example, we will use P2P as the adding method. Let's start by opening the app when it loads. If it's the first time, it's going to ask you to choose your country. You can either click the United States option at the top of the page, or if you're outside the US, use the scroll wheel to select which country you're in. Make sure you've allowed the app access to your phone's camera to scan the QR code later in the setup process. You'll notice now the app is showing you that it has a new feature, which allows you to drag and move the menu items at the top of the screen, so you can decide the order in which they appear. Tap the plus sign at the top right corner of the screen, then tap SN Scan. This is going to activate your phone's camera, which will allow you to scan the QR code on your recorder. If you do not want to scan it, you can also manually type in the QR code as the serial number when you're done. Tap Next, and then select your device type. Ours is DVR. Next, you'll be greeted with a screen where you'll be able to enter in a name for your device. You'll also have to enter your device's username and password. And once you've entered this information, simply tap Save in the top right-hand corner, which should take you directly to your new live view. Next, we're going to show you how to input the information if you use port forwarding. First, you're going to tap the plus sign at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Then select the option IP Domain. Choose a device type. Ours is DVR. First, we're going to enter your WAN IP into the address field. If your port is different than 3777, change it. But if it's not, leave it. And enter your device name. Lastly, input your name and password, and then tap Save. This should take you directly to the live view. You may also use the local IP to add the system, but you'll only be able to view the system when it's on the same network. Just like before from the main screen, tap the plus sign, then tap IP domain, and then choose your device. You'll be entering an address just like before, except this time you're going to enter it in the local address of the recorder. After you've entered your local address, change your port number if it needs to be changed. Additionally, Remember to name your device, and lastly, enter your username and password. When you're all done, tap Save. This should take us to our new live preview, and we'll be able to see our device. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit us online at securitycameraking.com.